And welcome to the boss of the zone, Trombak. And this guy is so annoying to fight. I don't know, other, other bosses are at least decent in the fact that you can hit them a few times, but this guy... I don't sell my relics to just anyone. I mean, just look at you, mercenaries. All of your equipment combined isn't worth even one of my artifacts. This is the type of boss that you need a lot oh, of people to fight. You're here to arrest me. You're welcome to try. I bet you won't manage to lay a hand on me. It's almost impossible to touch this guy because in order to attack him, you need to have him surrounded with three people. But as soon as he attacks, he swaps places. So. I guess you need a party of six people at least to kind of keep the outlaws at bay while damaging him. But it's still not a very fun fight to me. I don't know. Also, I have a new tactic. I accept the quest when I enter the area. So I accepted the quest when I enter the area. I think what I was level six when I entered the area. And then I went up to level seven. So instead of this boss being level eight or seven, he's just six. It doesn't really matter that much to be honest, but it gives us a little advantage so we don't have to fight for 10 hours here. But I guess the problem is he will swap places. So we cannot even attack him directly, we just have to assume he will go in one place or another and then okay, that of course doesn't work or we could just you know get him to a position where he cannot go very far away 15 meters i think yeah he'll move over there because that's less than 15 meters I guess we just have to go and kill that guy. Hmm. Yeah, this will not really work as intended. But I hope you'll move. With this guy, or he moved with that other guy. Okay. Still is manageable. Sure, he doesn't have anyone else to move with. Now it also depends on another thing. <laughs> he swaps with you. It also depends what you'll do the first turn of the combat. He just swaps like this a few times. You, you cannot hit him. Oh, we hit him? Why? And then he will move again, which I hope he doesn't do. But he's also engaged in combat. Oh, that's a mistake. But I think he'll move anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Let's see. He summons his little minions. And they'll spawn on the other side of the map, usually. I guess the only way to measure it, yeah, I made the tactical mistake, I should have... Oh man, why did I do that? I guess he cannot get poisoned. I guess we just have to give him a tactical order and hope it will be okay. Oh, 90 damage, right? That, that makes me feel a little better and also we can heal him.
but remember we cannot move away but he moved he's still engaged yeah i guess it's a little bit of a puzzle fight exactly what i don't like but what can we do and i guess the goal is to fight him with three people and then just use mentalin over there to keep him off keep the other people off our backs that's well above the distance i think i only need to run like this to destroy him i would use also fire but that would probably damage me more than it would damage him Let's use everything. Bring everything we have. So yeah, I guess this is also a pretty valid tactic. Have my heavy weapons guy, heavy armor guy, just sit around here and beat all of them up. Oh, that's a wrong door. He survived for such a long time because of his skills. But it also depends on how long your swordsman can last. As you can see, this is kind of like an eternal, uh, eternal swap. So he'll swap out with the other guy, and we'll get the chance to attack him very soon. And we also took a lot of damage. But this guy is also pretty strong as well now. I will kill my archer if I use this skill. I guess I can disengage, but... No, that would be super dangerous if I disengage to use the attack. I would almost lose him. Okay, so last chance to kill him. So he summon. Oh, he's okay. So he can only have max four units, and the last time he'll always try to summon someone else. <laughs> okay, that that was very weird. Got some rare things on sale, stranger. Yeah, we defeated him. I guess the the strategy will be more or less the same. Now, if I'd played it. If he was a higher level, maybe level 7 or 8, I think it would have been more or less the same, except I would I would have had to have more damage or have more critical power with me. But I, again, that's not so bad, is it? It's for the dagger, I'm not sure I can even use it. Save, save. At least we don't have to fight 1 million zombies like other fights. But this is level 6, I would have to upgrade it to levels in order to make it usable. 25 to 31. It's only a little bit of extra damage. But remember, this also gives you free rage, so that's 15 damage, 15 damage. So if the fight lasts for more than 4 rounds, this is much better. If it only lasts for 4 rounds, this is a lot better. I guess I should play with this one. I guess it's one of the better daggers in the game, just because of how, how much damage it does naturally. And you can also use this dagger to attack and then disengage from the enemy. Yeah, I guess, I guess it has a lot of bonuses. When did you get risk bonus? I have to remember. Keep in mind, never give them risk bonus because of this. Forty per forty gold. Wow. Okay. I guess that's a dangerous thing. If you have a, if you have a lot of people, let's say you have ten people in your party and five of them have that risk bonus trade, that would mean you have to play. You'd have to play two hundred and fifty extra gold per rest, which is a huge amount. Ah, okay, let's play a turn one. Let's see what's in the forgotten cave. I want to test out the dagger a little bit. 
Again, it's not really cheating if you just accept the quest so the boss doesn't level up one more level until you reach him. I guess that's that's only natural in this game. I could have also used more food for more damage buffs, so I guess it, were, it would have been more, more or less the same. I'm not sure about that fight. Looks like it's very easy to cheese or to understand. You just have to have your heavy weapons guy just keep away his little minions. And he he can probably only summon max 4 minions regardless of the other modifiers. It's probably one of the easiest boss fights as long as you understand the mechanics behind it. Whatever. I still don't understand this mechanic. They should. Yeah, sometimes politics get too much into the games these days. Too many politics, too many things people don't want. Nothing, man. Oh, this was a secret over here. Forgotten cave had a secret. Oh, well, I guess you can do the other secret as well. I'll show you the other secret. I don't need. Don't need any more manuals for now. After we level up, we'll need a lot more. Level 8 is a very interesting level up for this party. There's something behind this boulder. Don't say. Like what? <laughs> I guess this should be part of the main quest. Yeah, as usual. Like I keep saying, this is why I spend one hour or more just to explore the map and put pythons everywhere. I don't believe this game has so many bugs. Yeah, he just walks around it. Oh, okay, fine, walk around it. I'll try to get to that area over there because we have another secret over there. At least another one that I know of. Or if I find a better knife, I mean, this is only level 6. I mean, level 5. Require level 5. Damn, easy. I think I already searched what they had for selling. It was nothing good, or if they had something good, I already bought it. The merchants tend to wander around the same area for 3 or 4 Stand days. Back, peasants. These valuable commodities are only for those who can afford them. Yeah, I already looked at him. He's not good enough. So, that was what? 55 armor, right? 91 armor, and again, it's the same medium armor. So, as you can see, the difference is huge between armors, quality, and stuff like that. Yeah, these guys are tank. They can kill entire armies on their own. I instantly went to avoid the guards, but this time our suspicion level is zero. Or this time it's zero. I think I already tried to put a python over here and I couldn't do it. I guess you can try some more, but from what it looks like, the ground is not meant to support the python over there. Eh? Oh, wow, the game is super laggy today. I didn't see any optimization patches or anything. I'm also not really curious what happens if you get hit by the lightning. Easy game. Let's save again. So yeah, I kind of more or less enjoyed that bo boss fight. I only fought him once before started recording and I guess the strategy was not hard to find, especially with a small group like mine. 
but I can definitely see a pattern for the bosses. I mean, they're not meant to be hard or rewarding or anything like that. They're just meant to be a, kind of like a challenge that will make you either increase your party number or whatever. We'll go over the Inquisition and get about jail. Here, thieves and murderers are burned at the stake. Run before they spot you. Okay, bye. Go away now. And I cannot believe how buggy the game is. As you can see, I'm trying to climb the stupid rope, but it doesn't work. So I have to rest over here before I can do anything else. That is not cool. Don't put that in your mouth. I'm still waiting for a patch for them to fix most of the issues I'm having right now, but I don't think that patch will come. I think they are just focusing on other things now. Finally. supposed to be able to climb these both ways but because of the awkwardness of the game yeah, they really need to fix most of this thing so this was not a complete area i think the game is still in early access this was just a new area they added in early access it's the wrong one as well I was not even pressing that, I was pressing... Yeah, now you know why I saved so much of the game, because you can make a little mistake, a misclick and then you have to spend another 2 or 3 minutes fighting, or you have to spend a lot of time recovering, or you need to go back and buy food or buy tools to repair your armor. I don't know, it's kind of annoying that we still have so many issues with the game even after the full release, even after being so much in early access. I guess I need to go over here. Oh yeah, we needed to go over here for the secret anyway. How does that work? Okay. Wolves, meat wolf sausages. So Sapphire, Master Pickaxe, and Legion Gladius. I guess it's not bad, suffering a critical attack is good always. I mean for the for us it's good for the enemies is very bad. I find it interesting that you can get better loot. So I have a chance of finding sandstone when you mine. Quality gems. I really will find just better gems. And we'll see. We'll see. I will, I'll try to find the mine in the meantime. <laughs> also, if there was a pre uh, preset for the rest, so you would kind of use more or less the same things. Like use max amount of happiness items and auto balance the food. If they're happy, they get more valor points. I guess we can also go to uh, Rim Steel Mine or the Gruesome Cave. We don't have a lot of time to visit those. Actually, no, I think I'll just go to the Genderwald Castle. That's an interesting encounter as well. So 
this is the way it's supposed to work. It's supposed to be immediate and without any problems. I'm not sure you'll find the fight here. Easy, don't. Yeah, after start my computer, I was playing for about three hours, and now I have to start my computer while playing this game. Otherwise, the game will start freezing. Population one. It's kind of funny because they mentioned it's population one, and there is really one human here. It's such a big castle, such a nice castle. Leave while you still can, mercenaries. Maybe the evil spirits of this place haven't spotted. This castle has been haunted since my ancestor left to wage war in the faraway land of Harag, only to bring back this curse with him. Monsters appear when night falls. As soon as I dare fall asleep, they swarm the castle to wreak havoc and try to kill me. Others came to help me. But none of them survived. Okay, and you just have to go up here. I mean, it's one of those things that only happens once. You never have the option of going up. And you might think, well, nothing is highlighted. I cannot do anything. I'll go back. No, no. Go up. This reminds me of a Witcher game. Or a Witcher type of quest. A giant harp over there. I guess the castle still looks nice, even though it's dilapidated. Companion will sleep in the bed. I don't think it really matters. I will let, we'll let him sleep. Those brick is gone. We hurry downstairs and look at this, it's Crocswines. Oh, it's only four of them and they're level nine. Well, uh, I don't think there will be a problem, and we'll fight them in the snow. Arag spirit. Unstoppable charge. Infectious bite. Yeah, they barely do any damage. Oh, wait. <laughs> I guess the character you put to sleep is really sleeping. Okay, so it's all in his dreams, but I haven't thought of that. I guess just careful, don't don't put your damage dealer or your tank in there. They barely do any damage anyway. I guess the problem is they cannot really be contained. Then let's go back over here to protect the puny archer. Well, I think we hit it. Wait, what did you get the building? Oh, from the spirits, okay. That's not what I did. I clicked and uh, turn. Okay, that's three of them down. One more to go. Okay, I might have underestimated them, especially because of the mosquito attacks. Castle Forge? Why?
Now I'm really curious. What's in the forge? Oh, oh I was expecting that guy to be dead, but he's not dead. Fear! Fear the wrath of Harak! Threaten the Harak spirit or persuade the spirit to tell the truth. What are you doing? I guess you can threaten him. I'll tell you the truth. I made up the whole story to be able to destroy my ancestor's castle. After enough people had died and gone missing, the prince would have accepted my request. Drombach forbids the destruction of buildings dating back to the time when Alazar was still called the Northern Kingdom. But with the old pile still standing, how can I mine the rhyme steel deposits that lie below? Here. Take this as thanks for not killing me when you had the chance. Your companion is right here. You can take them back. <laughs> Welcome back. What happened? Oh, our companion speaks. That's the first time you hear him speak. Oh. Oh, come on. No. I messed up my entire line. Probably I can move him? Okay, wow, that's... That's a weird bug, now I have to spend time moving him. Okay, let's ignore that. <laughs> that that never happened. And you get a soon quest, which is probably one of the most useless items in the game. Five percent chance is nothing. I have to modify a few things here and there in my party layout, but uh, let's see what they tell us now. I guess he tamed the crocs wines. No, that's a bug, another I hope bug. We can all put this adventure. Why is this game so buggy? I guess this was the whole quest, really? Tell me the truth. Fear! Fear! I hope we can all put. Oh. Okay. You know what? I'll just reload my game so I'll have that Arak Spirit over there forever. We have made a lot of progress on the map itself, but still, it still feels like I haven't done much. I think we can also do the bandit layer, but it might be too far away. Maybe we. Let me see how far away it is. It's just around the corner. Okay, let's go and do the bandit layer as well. Not today. Oh, I still have one more reinforcement. Well, I guess it will be the tower from over there. The three icy bay lighthouse should have the other pirate group I need. Okay, let's go to the rim still mine. I want to see how that artifact works. If it gives us more valuable gemstones or another type of gemstone. I have a feeling we lose a lot of food along the way. Too many enemies. Oh, 
What, what didn't I do here? Oh, I guess that will always let me like that. Okay. <laughs> wow, the developers really cheated with the design of this uh, area. They made no concessions. They just put something like a plastic wall in front of it and then they said, hey, that's a wall, you cannot pass through it. No, you can pass through it very easy. Let's see how that works. Okay, so that was a perfect one. It said something different. I guess you just get more of them, so you don't get more valuable, you get more of them. Yeah, you just get probably more of them and more valuable stuff either way. Looks like I got a lot more, so... Yeah, definitely <laughs> a lot more valuable things. So let's check out the bonuses for this guy as well. Precious stones, grey clusters at the right, resources on while mining. There's a chance of mining good quality gems. I guess that, that just means you get you can get more gems overall. Okay, that's better. Well, see you next time. Bye bye. I should speak with them. I'm afraid. Mind, this place belongs to our owner. We haven't seen our foreman. I'm not going to work. I was a bandit before becoming a slave. At least I'm glad it happened before the Inquisition arrived. No, they make it sound like the Inquisition is not so such a bad thing. Since all of the thieves and criminals fear them and fear doing crimes. <laughs>